Oh, the water filter replacement light is on again. I don't know about you, but I get tired of seeing that light flash constantly. My family drinks an awful lot of water, and it seems like they're telling me to replace the filter constantly. These filters are now over $50 each. I don't know about you, but I get tired of changing these filters. Does it even make a difference at all? To me, the water seems like it tastes exactly the same after I change the filter than it tasted before. Is there any harm to leaving an old filter in? Is it dangerous for my family? Let's put it to the test. 16 different impurities you can test for in your water. Okay, so for test number one for a baseline, we're going to test the water from the old filter or the dirty filter, if you will. So the manufacturer's instructions say take the test strip, dip it into the water for two seconds, immediately remove it, turn, turn it, and then read your results. Now you can read them in 15 seconds for most of these. The nitrates, they want 60 second wait time. We'll put these results on the screen. I know one benefit I see after I change the water filter is the water pressure comes back really nicely. So when you have an old water filter, the flow seems to get restricted. New water filters are very expensive. I've actually seen them online for $50 and more. Honestly, I don't even notice a difference in taste when I put them in. I've always wondered if there's a difference in quality of the water, though. Here's the, here's the new one. You just line it up with the arrows and then push in and turn to the right. Close it back up. There's going to be some air in it when you get a new filter. I'm always impressed with how much additional flow, flow we get with the new filters. So the water comes out a lot faster. Okay, we're going to cycle that a few times, flush it out, and then test the water with the new filter. Now also, when you put your new filter in, you can... Get the ignoring, annoying light to stop. You just hit uh, right here. You hold down the filter button for like three seconds. Okay, I think we're in good shape. So now the, the annoying filter light is off and you're good to go with your new filter. Okay, we have the fresh new water from a brand new refrigerator water filter, drinking filter. And let's do another test. Okay, well, we'll put this on the screen and organize it better for you. We did get some reduction with the new filter compared to the dirty filter. The total hardness went down a bit. The free, free chlorines went completely down to zero. Um, everything else was zero. Sulfite went down. So we did get some improvement. Um, pH was about the same. So we did get some improvement with the new filter. This data is interpretation from us as we uh, interpreted the colors as best we could after reading them. Um, of course, you can pay for water lab, but you're talking hundreds of dollars per test. So I think my hunch, my hypothesis was, was proven with those test strips. You can use a dirty or old water filter if you'd like much longer than the indicator light will tell you. You can just keep using it, keep drinking it. You're still getting pretty good filtered water. Let's do one more test. Let's test raw water, completely unfiltered water, and see how much of an improvement we get with a new expensive filter. Okay, that brand new expensive water filter that we just put in, let's take that out. And there's a little valve in here that closes up and completes the circuit so we can actually still take the water. So this is completely unfiltered water. Actually, there's probably some in the lines in the refrigerator section, the pre-chilled section. So let's run this through. I'm going to dump it and run it a couple times to make sure I'm getting unfiltered water. Okay, here's the brand new filter that we just removed. We are running unfiltered raw water through the refrigerator. Dip the test strip in for two seconds, then remove and we'll add the results to our chart. Okay, raw unfiltered water compared to a new filter. 
Now we had no nitrates in the water, so that's good. We had safe water to start with. Hardness is the same. We had 100% improvement on total chlorine, 100% improvement on bromine, 100% improvement on MPS. We also had a 25% improvement reduction on carbonate and the same on alkalinity. So overall, the new filter did work pretty good and gave us some nice reductions, but we did have good, clean, safe water to start with. Um, but it, it's definitely working. It's definitely doing its job. Not a massive difference between the test. It seems the water going into our fridge is already pretty good. If you know you have bad water, it's probably more important to change the filters. In our case, we already have good water. You can leave an old filter in for longer. Your results may vary depending on how uh, difficult or challenging water you have in your area. If you are on a private well, make sure to get a professional test done uh, once every couple of years.